Na ba muda ya. So the electrician is here to to fit the the cables in the rupee pipe that is running on top from bottom the other plug is going to that side then the other side is going to have another plug yes so let's check inside the batteries uh, is done fitting the DSE and the changeover switch that is a backup generator so he's done uh, installing the DSE it's linked to the inverter and the batteries this is an ATS automatic changeover switch uh, it's also it was also uh, installed with the DSE yeah now he's fitting the pipes let's go inside and check uh he's busy fitting the conduits with the cables and plugs inside and the switches as well
Kurokan of Kachau. Motor as a lot of up. As a lot of motor. I know motor at time, you own it, but not at time, my music processing at you. You're so close. I'm running down there. Who got a motor? Say, remote to your white year. I want to say, do you guess? I'm not going to relax. I'm not going to relax. I'm not going to relax. I'm not Now there is, there is this box here. This is called a, a, an automatic transfer switch. Can out any ATS? Can out change over switch? When the power is low this side, this thing will kickstart the generator. DSE ir Dora kangarini software to download. Kuti relink and invert. So and rule one. My battery can agash kapa 25% from 100%. This thing will kickstart the generator so far. Chiripa auto. You see, chiripa auto. So once moto, we almost cover twenty five percent. Pama bad. This thing will kick start the generator. Generator will wrap it. You see. So it's going to stay there for good. No burden in the area, Baba. Do I eat? Can I do it? Right. My name is Liv Numa Tarusi. I'm an electrical technician. I've been doing this project with Chaka my residence. You see, here I've got uh, ten times uh, 410 watts solar panel that gives me about 4,100 watts total and above there um, I got another power uh, array which is of uh, 300, 330 watts which solar panel gives me a total of uh, two, roughly 2.7 kilowatts so a total of all my arrays is um, 6 point, roughly 6.4 uh, kilowatts so I'll be powering the whole system, including the home stairs, two homes, and then incubator, as well as uh, some other equipment inside. I will show you inside. Lift. Right here we have a uh, state of art equipment. We have our two solar panels, uh, two solar arrays, giving power to the first two MCBs. Uh, first the search protector and another isolator, another search protector and isolator for the two solar arrays. These are the MCBs that follow us. Don't worry about them. We'll discuss about them later. From here, we go to the inverter. We've got two ports for the inverter for the two solar arrays. Each solar array, uh, like I told you, they are different with different power inputs. To our inverter, which is a super smart inverter. Uh, it's a day inverter, 5.5 uh, kilowatt which can take up power up to about 6,500 watts, which is 6.5 kilowatt from the solar panels. From here, our output doesn't go actually direct to the load. The first output goes to these two batteries, which are wired in parallel, uh, the 100 AH batteries, so you've got a total of 200 AH of short batteries, 48 volt systems, which are wired in parallel, and they are connected, this one being the master and this one being the slave. You see these communication cables, 
uh, that's going to link between this battery and the other and this one on the can on this port is going to link directly into the, the inverter for communication of the batteries right uh, when in the event that we have power failure of the inverter we also have a standby nano that is outside there I uh, will talk about it later and this is our main ATS so from the inverter the AC goes directly to the ATS on the ATS and the generator is also going to the ATS so it means you got two inputs the generator and uh, the inverter then from there we have our electricity also being from the inverter to the to the battery starting the batteries remember we have a smart inverter here that's got an MPPT uh, voltage of about 370 so it's an input charger that's going to charge this these two batteries uh, also it fuses for protection so from our from our ATS we go directly to the to the MCBs then from the MCBs we distribute our load uh, from here these are the loads the other one is for the bone which is the controller for the bone this Tricon uh, VSD uh, the other one is for the main house the other one which is here is uh, for the incubator systems. We've got some chicken which are being incubated there as well as uh, uh, the other one which is not connected for the external uh, another external load that is um, a standalone house over the other side there. So basically what we have here is when there is power failure on, in the inverter, the generator will start automatically um, because of this DSE control that we did put, the generator will start automatically and give power to the inverter to charge the two batteries as well as to power up the loads. At the same time, when in the event that the generator fails, um, maybe it was or something, the inverter if it's there, it's ready, it's going to automatically transfer the load and then the inverter will take all the load upon itself. So basically, this is the smart system whereby our inverter is gonna be charging our batteries say every every time when our percentage for the batteries drops to 20 percent our generator is gonna run for a period of about an hour 30 minutes to boost up our voltage in our current so that we lift up our um, uh, percentage from the of the battery to a range of 25 percent and or above so that's the setup that we have here no there's no any other setup that can be so sophisticated uh, especially considering that you are running the incubators down there. We do not need any power cuts. We do not need our, any power cuts. Also, mind you, the total load that we have here, I can do all the welding, I can do all the grinding and drilling using this. Also grinding peanut butter there. Coco is grinding peanut butter right away. We've got a deep freezer, an upright freezer, which is also running in there. So, including the incubators, of course. So, totally. Our system is state of the art and it's one of the best systems you can ever imagine to have in this place of Goku. It's quite unique. It's just a tailor made. All of these things that you can see here with the communication and everything, it's not done because it was designed like that, but it's some additional engineering that has been incorporated in this. I thank you for watching this video. Keep in contact with us, keep in touch. Right, if you need also to have this type of work done or even beyond or even smaller uh, contact me on this number in Zimbabwe plus two six three zero seven seven three three zero four three seven seven I'll repeat zero seven seven three three zero four three seven seven or the other number plus two six three zero seven one five seven four two eight five two Zero seven one five seven four two eight five two. Or get me or link me on Facebook or Litmo Mataruse. Or if you like my page on uh, electrical and irrigation solutions, it's still okay. You can follow me uh, on Facebook. There's no problem. Uh, I can send me my emails on. I think I'll have to print that on the screen. My email get it on the screen is all of these numbers. You can get me all around Zimbabwe or even beyond. So long you do the arrangements, we can do this system to be connected at your place to power up everything. We do far, far much bigger systems. Thank you.